Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the loop control structure. So introduction to the loop control instructions. So in programming, loops are a mechanism to repeat a set of actions multiple times. So if you want to repeat a multiple set of actions multiple times, then loops are a only the thing. This repetition can be used in a specific count or a condition. Loops are a powerful tool for automating repetitive tasks, making programs efficient and concise. So key points. So what are these key points in this one? Let's try to see. Loops allow executing a portion of code repeatedly. So I already told you. Loop stops when a specified condition is no longer true. So until and unless that specific specified condition is true, the loop will be repeated. So there are normally three types of loops are there in C language. Types of loops are while, for and do while. So in this video, we will focus here in the first one, the while loop. Let's try to focus on this one. So about the while loop building. Now the while loop. So let's try to learn about the while loop. The while loop is used when the number of repetitions depends on a condition that is checked before each iteration. So now this condition will be checked before each iteration. So I will try to give you the syntax for this one. So the syntax will be like this while condition and body of the loop. So here what I want to explain you is so the syntax I will try to explain you. The condition is evaluated at the start of each iteration. So this condition will be evaluated at the start of each iteration. If the condition is true, the body executes, then the body of the loop executes if the condition is true. If the condition becomes false, the loop stops and the control moves to the statement following the loop. So the next, the control, it will move to the next statement. So that is the thing. So I will try to show you an example program of a simple interest calculation. So now I will try to show you about the simple thing. Let me try to show you. So now, so let me open the online compiler for this one, Chrome. So fine. So this is our online C compiler. Now let's try to write the code. So here I will be writing the code in such a way. I will explain you this concept also. So first one is int principal and the year and the count. I will take it. Okay. The count here I am taking extra count float rate and also the simple interest. So this is the simple thing which I would be trying to take it. Okay, so now here I will loop over the while loop while and here I will make it as a count is equal to one. So here it's a semicolon count is equal to one. So this is the thing while count less than or equal to three. Oh sorry, while count less than or equal to three. Then here what I will try to do. So I will ask the print of enter values of principal rate. So here I will ask principal principal actual principal now principal here also it should be principal and here it should be rate rate here sorry here and here also here rate of interest. So rate of interest. So now here it will be scan f I will be taking the three values scan f okay principal and year and rate okay so here I will be having the rate so now I need to calculate the simple interest simple interest is equal to principal into year into rate so it should be divided by 100 that's it divided by 100 now i want to print the simple interest and i need to make the count plus plus that's it so now i will paste it here so here i am simple interest so here i will print simple interest and the count i will make it as a plus plus that's it so this is a simple code now if i try to run it here let's see what will ask Enter values of principal year and principal is 3000 let's assume and year is 
4 years and the rate of interest is 9. Press enter. So the simple interest is 1080. So again it is asking. Okay. So 1000 and it should be 5 years and the rate of interest is 10. So I need to pay 500. So the next another one 5000. So rate of interest 6 and the rate of interest is 20. So I need to pay 6000. So this is how it has asked three times. Why? Because the count I am checking it three times. So let me try to explain you how it is working. The loop runs three times count less than or equal to three. So here the loop runs three times. Each iteration prompts the user for input of principal year and the rate. So each iteration three times it will ask. It calculates. So each time it calculates the simple interest and displays the result. The loop counter count is incremented for each iteration. So here count plus one. So that's it. So here in the key points which you need to remember is that count is the loop counter and the body. So whatever the body is uh, enclosed with the curly braces here and the loop ensures the instructions are executed repeatedly until the condition count less than or equal to 3. That means it becomes false. So that, that thing. So loop condition must terminate. So you need to understand that the key points tips and uh, traps also you need to understand that loop condition must have to terminate so that means ensure that the condition eventually becomes false otherwise loops runs indefinitely so example of this one is so i will try to explain you so you should not write it here so while i is equal to 1 i less than 10 and i am trying to print the i so here the loop will always be less than 10 so here i is never incremented so you are not trying to increment the value of i so the loop runs forever and increment and decrement thing so you can increment or decrement so you will be having two types that is nothing but here this is the thing so i is equal to i plus 1 the shorthand notation is i plus plus you can also use the i plus plus and here decrement means i is equal to i minus 1 or also you can use i minus minus so here the decrementation loop is such a way that it will be having so int i is equal to 5 and here I am checking the decrement thing i greater than or equal to 1 then print make the computer literate so i is equal to i minus 1 so here I am trying to decrement it so floating point loop counters loop counters can also be floating point numbers so not a problem floating point numbers also you can use it so for example let's say that here this is the example so let's say that you are having float a is equal to 10.0 and a less than equal to 10.5 you can also increment with the 0 0.1 so the increment or decrement may be any value example 0 0.1 <coughs> so you can also use the multiple conditions also so you can use logical operators like ampersand ampersand or for more complex conditions also you can use it for example let's say that here this is our thing while i greater than or equal to 10 ampersand ampersand j less than or equal to 15 so like this also you can use multiple conditions in a single while condition so common errors so normally the errors what you will be able to see is extra semicolon so you should not keep the semicolon after the while loop the semicolon makes the loop empty causing an infinite loop so that is the main thing improper initialization forgetting to initialize or increment the counter correctly can cause the logical errors also so that is also one important thing which you need to understand so normally we are having some increment of, uh, operators like post increment so one is the post increment so you need to understand about this one also post increment i plus plus the value is used first then it is incremented so for example let's say that here so here it will print i plus plus first of all the value is used so that means 0 is less than 10 then it will be incremented to 1 so value is used first then only it incremented so it will print from 1 to 10 okay so here 0 to less than 10 it will check and here it will uh, increment uh, afterwards it will increment then it then 1 will be printed pre increment value is incremented first then it will be printed so here if you try to check it here this one so here i am using i less than 10 here i am using i less than or equal to 10 so here first of all the value will be incremented then only the condition will be checked then it will be printed so that is also one option which you need to understand so now we are having compound assign operators what is this compound assignment operators so instead of writing i is equal to i plus 1 you can use i plus is equal to 1 increment by 1 j minus is equal to 10 decremented by 10 
k star into 2 multiply by 2 m by is equal to 2 divided by 2 m mod is equal to 3 means remainder after division by 3 so they, this, uh, these are called as in compound assignment operators so now i will try to show you printing numbers from uh, using the while loop from 1 to 10 so using standard increment so i will try to show you in the online editor so this is our online editor right so now here if you try to check it so i am using int i is equal to 1 while i less than or equal to 10 so printf i i plus 1 so now if you try to check it here so you'll be able to see the 1 to 10 has been printed so using the i is equal to i plus 1 so now if you want to standard increment we have seen it so now if you want to print with the basic increment means uh, sorry increment operator means you can use i plus plus and you, there is no need to use the i is equal to okay now if you try to do here the same output you will be able to see so compound assignment also you can use it i plus is equal to 1 so now if i try to run this one then also it will work without any problem using a post increment also you can use it so instead of using this one you can also use i plus plus and is equal less than or equal to 10 instead of using less than or equal to 10 you need to use the less than 10 that's it now if you try to see then also you will be able to see okay so here you need to make it as a zero or otherwise you can make it as a is equal to not a problem so not a, is equal to 10 will not work so you need to make it as a zero here so then also this one also will work so using pre increment operator also you can work so this is how you will be working in different situation in different thing you can work it summary what i want to tell you is the while loop the while loop is a versatile and powerful tool for repeating in programming so i will try to show you the summary i will print it and i will have written this one so the while loop is a versatile and powerful tool for repetition in programming the loop runs as long as its condition evaluates to true care must be taken to ensure proper initialization incrementation and termination to avoid infinite loops Increment and decrement can be implemented in multiple ways including plus plus minus minus and also compound assignments plus is equal to and minus is equal to. So that's it guys about this while loop. So hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.